Hello everyone and welcome back to the Great Book of Grudges. My name is Nathan and we've got some pretty interesting news, this time coming from the modding community, but a massive milestone has been hit. So this is some news that dropped early in the hours uh, during this morning, which is a proof of concept regarding the Dawnless Days mod, which, just in case you guys might not be aware of, is a Lord of the Rings conversion mod coming for Total War Attila. Now, Changing the campaign map has been possible for some time, but it has been kind of difficult as settlements and so on have not been able to be changed around. This then screws up with AI pathfinding, mapping, all the usual stuff. But as you can see here from vanilla to modded, it's able to be done now. New settlements are being able to be placed down. And this is the thing, right? It's not just for Attila. This is stuff that could be supported. It's a new modding tool that can affect Rome 2, Attila, Thrones of Britannia, Warhammer 1, 2, 3, Three Kingdoms, and Troy. So, this is something that we need to talk about because I know some of you are thinking, well, map uh, changing has always been possible. That was for the older games and for some reason Shogun 2. I believe a lot of modders have been saying that uh, Shogun 2 was the last map, uh, campaign map itself, which was like fully customizable. Well, not fully, but you know what I mean. So this is massive because this means more modern Total War games could be taken up by modders and changed into something completely different. This is potentially big not only for the Dawnless Days, but also the Lord of the Rings mod in A Total War Saga Troy, among a few others. And keep in mind one thing that you have to take into account is if you're thinking that full map changes can start happening for Warhammer, unfortunately that's not going to be the case, even adding like Nippon and stuff, mostly because, well, you know, Games Workshop being Games Workshop. So I guess there could be the theory that some modders could decide to have that and then host it on Nexus. As long as they aren't profiting and changing things too drastically, I don't imagine that there would be too much of an issue. Maybe adding a settlement here and there, which, uh, to be honest, could be needed for some places within Warhammer 3's Immortal Empires campaign. But yeah, here you can see through the proof of concept that a new settlement has been added in and it's fully workable. This is fantastic for a multitude of reasons. Let's be honest, the most moddable Total War has been, what, Medieval 2? And it's getting pretty dated, some stuff is pretty old. So imagine all the former Total War overhauls, you know, just like Game of Thrones or whatever that was in Medieval 2, because there were a lot of overhauls, Warcraft 2, being updated with the newer Total War games, so that means the functionality of the newer controls, newer graphics, a bit more just modernized. Modders could literally just create whole entire games using those engines, which is obviously really exciting because the big thing that Total War always had, or at least for me, was that it was incredibly customizable. You could mod it super heavily and you could have a lot of fun. Put it this way, I still go back to Medieval 2 just to play, for example, the Warcraft mod. I really enjoy that one because I love the Warcraft universe, and I always thought that the Total War series worked really well with it. Same thing with obviously Warhammer, now we have an official Warhammer game, but that's basically what started the rise of people asking for an official Warhammer game. And what you're seeing on screen right now is a campaign map preview of the Dawnless Days. This was recorded last year by YouTuber Jackie Fish, a very, very cool YouTuber. He does a lot of Total War stuff and a lot of um, Bannerlord stuff. But as I was saying, this is an old preview, so there's no settlements there. But now settlements can be added in, which is fantastic because I've been waiting for this uh, modded version of Attila for a long, long time now. Yeah, Attila has some issues, but that's more gameplay related because there hasn't been a patch for Attila in... Oh, I don't even know how long. But this means that settlements can start being populated there, you know, custom maps and all that type of stuff. Now, don't expect a playable version of a campaign map anytime soon. This is massive and, well, there's just so many overhaul mods that we know are being produced. And if they can make use of this tool, things should, in theory, go a decent bit faster. Again, we shouldn't really rush these modders, because keep in mind that they're making these mods out of their own free time and stuff, and we have to be respectful. But I'm excited. I'm excited for the future of Total War overhauls. Well, conversions is the better word, but just look at the detail on the campaign map. I mean, yeah, it's still very early on, and the graphics aren't going to be too great when it's early, because, you know, these things do take time. But it looks fantastic, it looks absolutely phenomenal. Now just imagine some settlements there and being able to play a full campaign and... God damn, this is just going to be exciting. Even if it takes like a year, two years, three years, 
This is just so exciting. Now we do have to talk about some possible repercussions. It's very likely that uh, Creative Assembly could get involved, you know, try and shut it down. But as far as I'm aware, if you upload into Nexus mods and so on and you don't make a profit, it's okay, or it's a bit of a gray area too. The thing is, we've been seeing these mods appear all the time and Creative Assembly haven't really been doing much. There was something with the Last Alliance mod where they had to change name and so on, mostly because uh, the Tolkien estate, I think, got in contact and there was a bit of a um, issue, but that can be expected. So usually changing names for mods should be fine. Regardless, let's not think about like the possible bad outcomes. Let's talk about the really cool stuff, right? This is a huge breakthrough in modding. Again, I'm just really excited to see what other modders and obviously this team is able to do with these capabilities as, yeah, it's awesome, right? Come on, how many different Total War games have you been waiting for? Mine specifically, you know, it's Lord of the Rings, but we've been getting loads of mods for that. Or Game of Thrones, which is a cool universe. Again, it's just something really, really cool. And if we're never going to get them officially, modders are jumping in and doing their own magic, which is, well, absolutely impressive. This could, in theory, start a new golden age of Total War modding in the same sense of, again, all the stuff that we had for Medieval 2 just updated. It would just be so good. It would honestly be so good. I've been following all these mods, all these conversion mods, the ones in Shogun 2, the ones that were announced for uh, Troy, the ones that were announced for Attila, for a long time now, and each time they do an update, even though nothing too concrete has happened, well, barring, you know, custom battles, and obviously the one for Shogun 2 is just absolutely amazing, it's already got playable campaigns, and loads of updates come on a regular basis, to be honest. And each time that these things do happen, it gives me a reason to go back to those older titles, because let's be honest, Creative Assembly have all but abandoned them at this point. They're not getting content, they're not getting any quality of life changes, so it would feel like a bit of a waste if those games just weren't put to good use, and through these modding scenarios, yeah, it's probably the best way to go. Time will tell, but I can't wait. Honestly, I really can't wait, I'm so excited. Yeah, like I said, we're going to have to wait a while, uh, but I, I honestly really can't wait. What do you guys think about all this? Because I know a lot of you guys have been waiting to, well, get some more news on these mods, and I should start covering them a lot more regular, because, to be honest, they are just impressive feats, and they deserve to be highlighted more. This is really, really exciting, and I can't say it enough. I haven't really been excited for a while now, so... This is big, big freaking news. God, I honestly can't wait. <laughs> I really, really can't wait to see more news regarding these mods. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Let's have a bit of a discussion. And I'll see you all again very, very soon. Have a good day.